Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. And I got two packages from Bamboo Lab containing two different 3D printers. And I'm going to use the Bamboo Lab A1 combo in today's update video to check out what I can do with that for my city. I'm going to create my own kind of Lego bricks, not real Lego bricks, but kind of Lego bricks. And I will check out what I can do, what I cannot do, how I can use a 3D printer here in my city by creating my own stuff, what's possible, what's not possible, and how that can help in my city. Right at the beginning, I'm using the instructions to build up everything, to prepare everything. Everything is re really, really, really clearly in the instructions. Just a few steps before you can start uh, calibrating the printer and printing your first stuff. You can see here all the holes are here with green uh, circles around it. So we really, really know what to do with the instruction. After building up everything, you have to calibrate the printer. That's very, very easy. Most of it is doing itself. It's just for the first time. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes, roundabout. And after that, we can really, really start printing our parts. We have different uh, filaments. I'm not sure if that's the right word in English, but in German, it's filament. And these are these kind of rolls with all that plastic stuff on it. And... First time we just need to test some stuff and the first time I really want just to print out one two by four brick and testing out what's possible, what's not possible and yeah, spoiler ahead, it's not so easy to get the right size right at the beginning. So I'm just starting printing one from different um, sources in the internet. You can see here, it uh, takes about 70, 17 minutes to print one 2 by 4 bricks with that printer. And yeah, it's a very interesting if you if you the first time see how everything is printed here in the printer, of course. And yeah, a lot of testing um i did in today's video you can see here that's by the way real time speed and you can see the two by four bricks is built up from the lower part to the upper part and yeah that's a bamboo lab that's a program you can use to check out what you want to print you can have a lot of options you really really can do a lot of stuff and yeah i'm just testing different kinds of two by four prints until i get the perfect size with the perfect possibility to put them together because by the way it's not so easy to get the right size so everything connects not only to real lego bricks but also and i call it now my own bricks and here's a test the yellow one is a real brick and that was my first black test brick and you can see it's not so easy to put them together and also the problem is you put the black one under it, you can see there's almost no um, possibility to have them connected really good. Then I got some different kinds of testing stuff, different sizes, different sources from the internet. At the moment, I did not want to do my own design, just testing some f designs from the internet. And you can see it's so loosely connected that it's not usable. And that was the next one. You can see I have um, a lot of different kinds of bricks used. That's much better. But it's also not the best connection, as you can see here. It's better connected, but not the best solution I can find. So I took another one and another one and another one. And I tested some other parts. Some parts that are, yeah, viable from lego official parts also you can see that later i created some parts that are not possible that's by the way a 4x4 base plate and um, at that point i really got at a point where i can create stuff that really connects to official lego parts and also my own parts that's an interesting part i created that is a kind of tile uh, tile brick that we have a lot of options to create bricks that are not possible, but uh, at the moment I'm just testing some stuff just to see what's possible, what's not possible. Just a little kind of play with all the stuff. Also created some other parts like that one. It's a two by two flat brick, half flat brick. I'm not sure how to call that, but you can see the connection is not very, very good. And I really can put them together um, how I want. 
The next one is I created that part. It's kind of a uh, brick with uh, changed uh, corners and you can use them and put them together. Then you get a kind of interesting wall. Just testing some stuff, by the way. The um, quality of the print is not so good here. It's a little bit bad, but I don't know why it's some... Um, yeah, parts. Um, I think I did some not so good used uh, options, but it's not normally that the printing is so bad like I did it here on that part. So the other parts are really, really cool, but that part is just for testing. So I did not try to find out what the problem is here, but you can see you can create parts that are not possible or not buyable from Lego. By the way, another idea I had is these uh, hose, um, you can know them, these are like a long um, stick, if you want to call it like that. They're very expensive even when you want to buy a lot of them, like here, uh, 62 euro cents. And I can really easy print that out for just about three cents. You can see it here. These are the estimated costs. I um, will have to pay for the filament and I just can't print it out. The color is not the perfect one, like the light bluish gray from Lego but it's just testing today. But you can see I have the possibility to create that part uh, very, very fast and I can create it in the length I need and the thickness I need and here's the testing stuff. You can see that very small part, that's the original Lego part. Then in the middle, that was my first idea, the connection is not so good, so I tried to make it a little bit bigger. You can see it here and the right part is my printed uh, yeah, part and it connects very well to these um, connectors here from official Lego set. And that's something I really, really might think about to create them with a 3D printer. It's also a little bit bendable. And yeah, it's a very interesting stuff. And it's not so expensive to buy a 3D printer like the one here I'm using in today's video. And yeah, just testing, as I said. Next idea I had was to create some uh, weapons for minifigures. So I have that axe here. And on the other side, it's not so nice looking because that's the part where all the um, connections were on the plate. So you can do that better by um, changing some options or work again on that printed part um, but for today as I said it's just testing so it's possible to create little little weapons like that and at the end I just tested some different interesting parts like that very interesting 3x4 plate with some uh, studs on it and then I tested some more stuff you can see here it's really really cool because I'm now at the point where I exactly know how to print these parts, to use them. At the moment, I'm not sure if I'm going to use any of these parts anywhere in the city, but it's just testing for today. See what are the possibilities. And that's it for today's update. Just showing you what I did today. And a uh, big thank you to Bamboo Lab for sponsoring the printer for today's video. And I'm not sure at the moment what I'm going to do with all that stuff in the future, but I know that there are a lot of possibilities to use them, especially when I want to work with all the electricity, digitalization stuff in the future. Maybe then I'm going to use a lot of these parts. So stay tuned for future updates.